You know, I actually approach an opera not like an opera because it's in the ENO, which is a, you know, formerly a music hall. My attitude is we're putting on a show. I don't analyze what I do when we're working either in Python or animation or films or opera. I just do what seems to be to me honest or truthful or entertaining or funny. In the instance, say, of, of, of Cellini, we're trying to do a, a two-dimensional world in a three-dimensional space. It's not unlike the cartoons I did in Monty Python. Well, it's a strange kind of cut-out world is what we're working in. So I try to bring to the opera things I've done in the past, and, and there are hopefully going to be some Pythonic moments that'll be funny. It's trying to work out this balance to maintain romanticism, outrageousness, scoundrelness, and true artistry. An interesting mix. A very interesting mix. Terry Gilliam talking about his production for English National Opera, Benvenuto Cellini. And you're on Screening Jets with Pete Castelli and Krista Hughes. So, Krista. Yes. You went to see Bienvenuto Cellini. Yes. Today. What do you reckon? Is it good? Oh, it's phenomenal. Good, phenomenal because it's Gillian or phenomenal just because it's great opera? Uh, well, look, I must say I'd never heard of the opera before. It's a rare one. It's very rarely performed. Yeah. And when I listened to it today, I must say that there weren't any particular pieces go, oh, I know that piece. It was all brand new to me, but the singing was absolutely superb. Um, It's a beautiful uh, opera, but I must say I was possibly more blown away with the production uh, and Terry Gilliam's uh, direction which was just outstanding. So Gosh, you've you got, you, you got to love it when someone that really does have a good imagination, creativity, is given that kind of budget because, my goodness, he did great things with it. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's got to be used to budget. So are you a fan of Gilliam's? I mean, you know, Fisher King, 12 Monkeys, Fear and Loathing yep. in Las Vegas, all of the Monty Python, well, yep. not all of them, but, you know, Holy Grail, Jabberwocky, Meaning of Life. Yep. So he's a, he's a director, a film director that you love. Yes. So... Uh, and I was when as soon as I heard I was doing an opera, I'd, I was just like, "What?" Uh, and when I heard the name of the opera, I was like, "What? What?" Uh, but it was—I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Did you? Not a dull moment. The opera goes from to to to, to oh, and then it's. That was the opera. <laughs> the chorus alone was 78. There were 78 people. And that's just the chorus. <laughs> Epic and mental. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Big, it's bold, it's really fun. The acting, the singing, everything was just fabulous. Yeah, it was just sumptuous, amazing. Amazing singing, amazing sets, brilliant, loved it. Fantastic, real spectacle. I love the pyrotechnics and the puppets, I thought it was fantastic. So enjoyable, so entertaining, I'd definitely go back. It's Terry Gilliam and it's an opera. Just go and see it. <laughs> what I love about these are these are filmed operas, so that they're originally performed, and all of the all of the little grabs you heard in that piece were mm. from people who went to see it yes. at the ENO in London. Yep, and they were kind of blown away by what they're seeing in in the you know in the flesh in in the round. Is it captured on screen? Is it as look? It is. It is because normally I can't stand watching live shows that have been recorded, um, and maybe that just comes from when I've I've, I've had to have shows of my own recorder and look at it back, I just kind of go, wow, that's so boring in comparison to the live, the real thing. Uh, and it just seems so flat and dead. Um, but uh, it was shot beautifully. Uh, and you did feel, I mean, it was as close as you could to be to being in the actual audience of the, of the live show. I thought they did a, 
an extraordinary job of recording a live show and you actually felt like you were part that of the were live there. show rather than watching a boring a show that's probably great, but you know, because it's being filmed, it's there's something that's gone missing in the process of it getting translated to film and then sent to you again. Uh, it was extraordinary. It was lit really beautifully, which worked for the cameras, like all of them, because there were some cameras that there were long shots, there were some that were close ups, there were some that side of stage, there were some that you know, there was obviously quite a few cameras involved, and the lighting which was designed for the live show, also worked for the filming, which I guess when they first designed the show, knowing they were going to do that, they had to have that in mind. As oh, I don't know how they do it. You'll have to talk to the director and all of them about that. But it was wonderful. Worked very, very well.